Hello students, I hope you all well. I welcome all of you for today's class. Before starting the class, let me ask you some questions. Suppose you purchase 5 chocolates for rupees 10. Then what is the cost of 1 chocolate? It is very easy for you. The cost of 1 chocolate is rupees 2. Okay. Suppose you purchase 5 biscuits for rupees 10. Then what is the cost of 1 biscuit? Again, it is very easy for you. For 1 biscuit, the cost is rupees 2. In general, if you buy 5 things of same kind for rupees 10, what is the cost of 1 thing? Exactly, it is rupees 2. In this way, we represent this entire situation by one equation which looks like 5x is equal to 10. Have you seen this? What is this called? You have studied these things in your earlier classes. Yes, such type of equation we call it as algebraic equations. Today, we are going to discuss about such type of equations in a particular case where the power of the variable is only 1. Such type of equations we call it as linear equations and also we consider only one variable. Therefore, we are going to study about the linear equations in one variable. In fact, linear equations are also called algebraic equation. Do you remember what is called algebraic equation? You studied in the earlier class? Yes, algebraic equations are nothing but equations involving equality and variable. Let us express this by taking one example. Consider the equation 2x minus 5 is equal to 4. Observe that here variable present at one side and constant is there at another side and equality is also there. In fact, the expression on the left side of the equality sign is denoting as left hand side and the expression on the right hand side of the equality sign is the right hand side. So, such type of expressions where the power of x is 1, we always call it as linear equation in one variable. Now, let us consider another equation. Consider 2x minus 3 is equal to 7. Suppose, you put x is equal to 5 in this equation. Then the LHS side that is 2x minus 3 becomes 2 times 5 minus 3 that is nothing but 10 minus 3 that is equal to 7 which is equal to uh, right hand side. Here the expressions involving right hand side and left hand side are become same for one value of x which is x is equal to 5. Such type of numbers we always call it as the solutions of the equation. So, the solution of the equation is nothing but it is the value in which the right hand side must be equal to left hand side. Here in the last example that is 2 x minus 3 is equal to 7, x is equal to 5 is the solution. Note that this solution may be a positive integer, may be a negative integer, may be 0, may be fraction, may be any real number. Are you surprised? Yes any real number can act as a solution for the given linear equation in one variable. Now, our duty is to find out such type of solutions and what method we have to apply to find the solution for such type of equations in today's class. So, let us take the given example itself. Solve for x, 2 x minus 3 is equal to 7. To find the solution, we have to follow the following steps. Step 1, for the given expression, we have to add 3 on both sides. Remember, whatever the basic operations we are doing, it may be addition, subtraction, multiplication or division on both sides, the balance of the equation is not disturbed. So, now, if you add 3 on both sides, left hand side become 2 x minus 3 plus 3, right hand side becomes 7 plus 3, minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled, we left with 
2 x is equal to 7 plus 3 means 10. Now, in order to eliminate 2, second step is divide both side by 2. 2 x divided by 2 is equal to 10 divided by 2. So, 2 x divided by 2, 2 2 gets cancelled x left and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 is the required solution of that equation that you know already. Now, let us try to solve one more problem. It is given as follows. Problem 2 solve for x, x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15. In the last step, we observe that we have to operate certain numbers on both sides at the same time, if you want to remove that constant, we can transpose that from left hand side to right, side, right hand side also. Note that when such type of transpose happen, the sign is changed for addition or subtraction, but for multiplication and division sign will not change. These are the things we are going to use in this method also. The given equation is x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15. To eliminate 1, Either you have to operate subtract 1 both sides or very simply just transpose 1 to the RHS side it becomes minus 1. Therefore, we get x by 3 is equal to 7 by 15 minus 1. 7 by 15 minus 1 if you subtract you know already it becomes minus 8 by 15. Therefore, x by 3 is equal to minus 8 by 15. Now, multiply 3 on both sides we get x is equal to 3 times minus 8 by 15 that is nothing but minus 8 by 5. Therefore, x is equal to minus 8 by 5 is the solution of that equation. Students, now let us try to solve the following problems and find the value of x in each case. It is an exercise for you people. First one 6 is equal to x plus 2. Second one 7 x minus 9 is equal to 16. Third one 3 by 7 plus x is equal to 17 by 7. I hope by observing the previous problems you know how to find the solution for these problems. Let us try to solve it and find the answer. Students, now let us look some word problems involving the above type. First problem the perimeter of a rectangle is 13 centimeter and its width is 2 3 by 4 centimeter then find its length to solve this problem let us assume the length of the rectangle to be x centimeter you know already that the formula for the perimeter is the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 times length plus width width is given as 2 3 by 4 centimeter and the perimeter is given as 13 centimeter. You have to substitute all these values in this equation. We get 2 times x plus 11 by 4 is equal to 13. So, if you cross multiply 2, it becomes x plus 11 by 4 is equal to 13 by 2. If you transpose 11 by 4 on the RHS side, it becomes x is equal to 13 by 2 minus 11 by 4. If you subtract these two things, you will get 15 by 4 that can be written as 3 3 by 4. Therefore, the length of the rectangle is 3 3 by 4 centimeter. Now, let us take one more word problem based on this situation. Problem 2. Three consecutive integers add up to 51, then what are those integers? Students. Let us consider the three consecutive integers b x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. Since it is given that the sum is 51, we have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 51. If we add all the x, it becomes 3 x plus 1 plus 2 becomes 3. Therefore, 3 x plus 3 is equal to 51. And if you transpose 3 on the left hand side, it becomes minus 3. Therefore, 3 x is equal to 51 minus 3. That is 3 x is equal to 48. Now, divide both sides by 3. It becomes x is equal to 48 by 3. That is nothing but 16. Therefore, x is equal to 16 means 
the three consecutive integers are x is equal to 16, x plus 1 is equal to 17 and x plus 2 is equal to 18. If you add these three things 18 plus 17 becomes 35 and 35 plus 16 is equal to 51. So, our answer is correct. In this way, I would like to give one word problem for you to solve on your own. Problem is like this. Baiju's father is 26 years younger than Baiju's grandfather and 29 years older than Baiju. The sum of the ages of all the three is 135 years. Then what is the age of each one of them? Apply the same technique on the above and find the answer. For your reference, I am giving the answer. Age of the Baiju's father is 46 years. Age of the Baiju's grandfather is 72 years and age of the Baiju is 17 years. Please try to find out by applying the above technique. Students, now we are going to see another different types of linear equations where the variable presents on both sides. Are you surprised? It is not always true that variable always should be on one side. It may be there on the left hand side, it also may be there on the right hand side. Suppose if we have an equation which contains variable on both sides, then how to solve such type of equation? In this section, we are going to solve such type of equations. Now, consider the following problem. Problem 1. Solve for x 5x plus 7 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 times x minus 14. Now, to simplify this equation, we have to remove the 2 in the denominator. Therefore, our first step is multiply both sides of the equation by 2. We get 2 times 5x plus 7 by 2 is equal to 2 times 3 by 2 x minus 14. That becomes 2 times 5 x plus 2 times 7 by 2 becomes 7. Then 2 times 3 x by 2 means 3 x minus 2 times 14 means 28. Therefore, the equation becomes 10 x plus 7 is equal to 3 x minus 28. By considering the x terms on one side and constants on the other side, the equation becomes 10 x minus 3 x is equal to minus 28 minus 7. Therefore, 7 x is equal to minus 35. Therefore, x is equal to minus 5. Students, let us solve some word problems involving such type of situations. Consider the following problem. The problem is like this. The digits of two digit number differ by 3. If the digits are interchanged and the resulting number is added to the original number, we get 143. Then what can be the original number? To find the solution for this equation, let us take the two digit number in such a way that the first digit that is in the unit place, we let us take it as b. Then the digit in the tenth place is differ from b by 3. Therefore, the tenth digit becomes b plus 3. So, the two digit number is 10 times b plus 3 plus b that is nothing but 10 b plus 30 plus b that is nothing but 11 b plus 30. It is also given that with the interchange of digits, the resulting two digit number becomes 10 b plus b plus 3 that is nothing but 11 b plus 3. Also, it is given that if these two numbers are added, the sum is given as 143. So, let us take the sum 11 b plus 30 plus 11 b plus 3, this sum becomes 22 b plus 33. That is 22 b plus 33 is equal to 143. Now, we have an equation in one variable where the variable is b. And if you solve this equation, we will get the required answer b. That means, 22 b plus 33 is equal to 143. Transpose the 33 on the left hand side, 22 b is equal to 143 minus 33, that becomes 110. Therefore, 22 b is equal to 110 means, b is equal to 110 divided by 22. Therefore, b is equal to 5. The unit digit is 5 
and therefore the 10 digit is 5 plus 3 that is 8. Therefore, the required number is 85. So, we can check the answer on interchange the digit the number becomes 58 and the sum of 85 plus 58 is 143 and so our answer is right. Similarly, you can try and solve the following problem also as an exercise for you. Problem is like this. A grandfather is 10 times older than his granddaughter. He is also 54 years older than her. Then find their percentages. For your reference, I am giving the answer also age of the grandfather becomes 60 years and age of the granddaughter is equal to 6 years. Apply the above method and find out these two values. Now, the next variety is if the equation is not directly looks like linear form, but by reducing it into linear form, we can solve such type of equations. In this section, we will observe such type of equations. Consider the following example. The problem is like this 6 x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 divided by 6. To solve this equation, we have to remove those 3 and 6. For that, the simplest way is multiplying both sides of the equation by 6. We get 12 x plus 2 plus 6 is equal to x minus 3. That is 12 x plus 8 is equal to x minus 3. Take the x term at one side and constant at the other side, we get 12 x minus x is equal to minus 3 minus 8. That is 11 x is equal to minus 11. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1. Let us check our answer by putting x is equal to minus 1 first on the left hand side. Left hand side becomes 6 times minus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 that is minus 6 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 that is minus 5 by 3 plus 3 by 3 that is nothing but minus 2 by 3. Similarly, on the right hand side minus 1 minus 3 divided by 6 that is nothing but minus 4 by 6 that is minus 2 by 3. Therefore, both left hand side and right hand side have the same answer as minus 2 by 3 by putting x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 is the required solution. Now, consider another problem. Problem is like this x minus 5 divided by 3 is equal to x minus 3 divided by 5. To remove 3 and 5, the best way is to multiply 15 on both sides, where 15 is the LCM of 3 and 5. Then it becomes 15 times x minus 5 by 3 is equal to 15 times x minus 3 by 5. 3 and 15 gets cancelled, we are left with 5 times x minus 5. Here 5 and 15 gets cancelled, we are left with 3 times x minus 3. That is 5 x minus 25 is equal to 3 x minus 9. Take the x terms at one side and constant on the other side, it become 5 x minus 3 x is equal to minus 9 plus 25. That is 2 x is equal to 16 and x is equal to 80. Students, note that sometimes the given equation may not be linear. In that case, by converting that equation into a linear equation, we can find the solution by applying our previous methods. Let us solve one such method. The problem is like this. Solve x plus 1 divided by 2 x plus 3 is equal to 3 divided by 8. Observe that the equation is not a linear equation, since the expression on its left hand side is not linear, but it can be converted into linear form by applying the following method. Consider the equation x plus 1 divided by 2 x plus 3 is equal to 3 by 8. First step is 
multiply both sides of the equation by 2 x plus 3. That is x plus 1 divided by 2 x plus 3 into 2 x plus 3 is equal to 3 by 8 into 2 x plus 3. Notice that 2 x plus 3 gets cancelled on the LH side. We get x plus 1 is equal to 3 by 8 times 2 x plus 3. Now, we have a linear equation which we know how to solve. First multiply both side by 8, it becomes 8 times x plus 1 is equal to 3 times 2 x plus 3. That is 8 x plus 8 is equal to 6 x plus 9. That means, by taking the x terms at one side and constant another side, it becomes 8 x minus 6 x is equal to 9 minus 8. That means, 2 x is equal to 1. Hence, the solution is x is equal to 1 by 2. You can verify by putting x is equal to 1 by 2 in that equation, we will get LHS is equal to RHS. That is, the numerator of LHS is half plus 1 that is nothing but 3 by 2. Denominator of the LHS is 2 x plus 3 that is 2 times 1 by 2 plus 3 that means 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4. Therefore, LHS 3 by 2 divided by 4 that is 3 by 2 into 1 by 4 that is nothing but 3 by 8 which is nothing but RHS. In this way, we verified that x is equal to 1 by 2 satisfies the given equation. Let us solve one word problem with this situation. The problem is like this. The ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio 5 is to 7. 4 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 4. Find their present ages. By observing the given conditions, we can form the required linear equations as follows. Let the ages of Hari be by considering the ratios as 5x and Harry's age will be 7x. 4 years later, age of Hari becomes 5x plus 4, age of Harry becomes 7x plus 4. According to the question, at that time, this ratios becomes 3 by 4. Hence, we can write it as 5x plus 4 divided by 7x plus 4 is equal to 3 by 4. By cross multiplying the terms, you know how to get the term. It becomes 4 times 5x plus 4 is equal to 3 times 7x plus 4. That is 20x plus 16 is equal to 21x plus 12. By taking the x terms at one side, it becomes 21 x minus 20 x and the constant on other side, it becomes minus 12 plus 16. Therefore, it becomes x is equal to 4. That is, Harry's age is 5 x, that is 5 times 4, that is 20 years. Harry's age is 7 x, that is 7 times 4, that is equal to 28 years. Students, in a similar way, I would like to give some problems for you as an exercise. For your reference, I am giving the answers also. Please try to follow and solve by observing the above methods. The problems are as follows. Problem 1. The present ages of Anu and Raj are in the ratio 4 is to 5. 8 years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 5 is to 6. Then find their present age answer Anu's present age is 32 years and Ra's present age is 40 years. Please try to find out by applying the above methods. Second problem, the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8. If the numerator is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1, the number obtained is 3 by 2. Find the rational number. It looks like difficult, but you can do it by applying above method. For your reference, the answer is the required rational number is 13 by 21. Students, 
Before wind up the today's class, let us recall what are the things we did. We started with recalling what are algebraic equations and in particular linear equations in one variable and examples. Also we saw that if the variable present at one side and the constant on another side, then how to solve such type of equations which we call it as the solutions of that equations. Also we saw some word problems based on that method. Also we find if variables present on both sides, then how to simplify this equation and how to find the solutions. Also we saw some word problems on this. Finally, if the given equation is not in the linear form, then how to bring it, it into linear form and solve such equations and also the corresponding word problems also we solved. I have given some problems for practice few as an exercise. I hope this class will help you to understand all those things. All the best, take care, thank you very much.